One of the major challenges for businesses and people living in Juba is finding electricity. Government-run generators that used to supply residents with power have not worked for years. It means business owners and individuals have to find their own source of power. But it's far from easy as electricity from private suppliers is often rationed. Sometimes the generator will not run and our Helians will suffer. Yeah? Where, where we have the clients complain too much about where there's no power. Like last week for the, for the bank, the bank didn't work like for two days. There was no there was no fuel. Uh, the fuel went off. We are not having uh, fuel, so they didn't work. The cost of maintaining and fueling generators is also very high. That pushes the price of goods and commodities higher, and services that require electricity are frequently disrupted. It affects us because at some point maybe somebody needed you to do something to respond to an email as soon as possible. Okay. So you are not able to do it because there is no power. Maybe your laptop has gone off. There is no power in the office, so you are not able to connect until you wait for that time when maybe the generator is put on. South Sudan's government says it plans to generate 100 megawatts of power in Juba soon, enough to power the whole city. We are working. We have a plan. We have a plan to light Juba by, uh, by August 2018. This is where the problems will be solved. We have a new power plan which is coming up. But the government has admitted it's out of money due to the ongoing war and the resulting economic crisis, leaving many here doubtful about the promised electricity. Juba has an agreement to start receiving electricity from Uganda. That hasn't started yet. And with the civil war in South Sudan, it might still take some time for electricity to come to the country. Patrick Coyette, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.